Paris Saint-Germain were looking to put their Champions League disappointment behind them when they came up against an informed Rennes side. And he very quickly did so, taking the lead with the first real attack of the game. Kylian Mbappe volleying home a beauty at the back post. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Fastest league goal for the Parisians since Mbappe against Lille last year. And after a couple of excellent saves from Gijo Donnarumma, kept them in front. They doubled their lead. A quick break out to Usman Dembele. Brilliant movement by Mbappe in the box and found by Carlos Soler for his second and Paris's second. And there would be one more good save by Donnarumma as Rance failed to find the net for the first time this season. No such worries for Paris and Mbappe though. Now Bradley Barcola cut back this time and PSG's number seven made it number three. 13 for the season now as he grabs his first hat-trick in over a year in league football. The resurgent PSG finally returned to the top of the table. Nice were yet to trail in a Liga 1 Ubrich's match this season heading into the weekend at Montpellier on Friday evening. He only scored 13 goals themselves, so the chances of a goal fest didn't look especially high. Having kept eight clean sheets in their first 11 matches, conceding just four goals, the task of breaking down Nice's defence was a daunting one for any team. Montpellier certainly didn't lack the firepower to try and cause some damage to that formidable wall. Iker Adams went close twice, striking the post on both occasions. And it would be nil-nil at the final whistle. A draw a fair result in truth, and neither side doing enough to take the three points. After Nice's draw, Monaco knew they could move up to second and to within one point of the leaders, they could take all three points home from Le Havre. The Norman side began the day nine points, but just four places behind their visitors after an impressive start to the season. And it would all come down to one huge moment at the end of the game. VAR involved a foul by Diop on Emmanuel Sabi and the referee pointing to the spot in the tenth minute of additional time, Samuel Gronzier with the responsibility from the spot against his former side, but saved by Philip Kahn. The last time Monaco kept a clean sheet at the Stade Océan was 2003. Kahn put an end to that stat. They were seeking to move into the top four when they hosted a Toulouse side teetering on the edge of the drop zone after a winless run stretching back four games. Home side occupied fifth place, left an open door into the top four after Rance's loss. The match took time to ignite when the first shot of the match only came in the 30th minute, but it would produce the opening goal. Elonja Grover picking out Lenny Yoro, who found the inside of the far post. But completely against the run of play, Toulouse leveled the match at the 65-minute mark. A free kick from the left floated in by Vincent Sierro and met by Tais de Linga. A positive week for Toulouse ends with them picking up their first league point in over three weeks. Mostly dog. Be disappointed to drop two points, but at least extend their unbeaten run. Last season's closest challengers to the eventual champions PSG met in the final game of the weekend with hosts Lens in 10th coming into the match behind 9th place Marseille on goal difference. Both clubs were showing signs of turning their seasons around after worrying starts and Lens had the better of the game overall. Wesley Said came agonisingly close to breaking the deadlock late on. Saw his effort cleared off the line by Jordan Veretout there would be one more chance for the hosts, another corner in the 90th minute, and this time they wouldn't be denied. Jonathan Grady stooping low to divert home. Getting ahead of his marker and then finding the gap in the sea of blue shirts. And that how much it means to every fan, young or old. There would also be one more chance for the visitors. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang fluffing his lines though once again, struggling in the French top flight. Lens continue their climb up to the table, now to sixth. Mess came into their meeting with Nantes, looking to put an end to a six-match winless streak in the league. Visiting Canaries were eight places above the hosts coming into the weekend, but the pair were separated by just four points and very tightly packed mid-table. 
And it was the side towards the bottom that took the lead with under three minutes on the clock. Matteo Udo's teasing delivery turned home at the back post by Kevin van den Kirchhoff. The joy was short-lived, however, as Nantes hit back almost instantly. Nicola Palwa with the delivery, which was turned in at the near post this time by Moses Simon. Palwa, an unlikely creator, his first assist in over five years, but Simon, a familiar finisher. His 25th top flight goal for Nantes. But as quickly as the host joy had been extinguished, it was reignited. Abli Jello threading a perfect ball through for Simon Elisar. He took his time before firing Mess back into the lead. Joel Asuro was introduced for the final five minutes and one minute later would make for a far more comfortable end to the game. Space at the back stick and the number 99 making 99% sure that Mess would claim all three points. And that final 1% would be added on soon enough. Mess move up to 11th in reasonable safety of mid-table. Ren hosted Lyon in the weekend's penultimate game hoping to improve their domestic form after a convincing display in Europe during the week. OL simply wanted their first win of the season. They were given a decent chance to claim it as Guela Due picked up a red card after just four minutes and 11 seconds. OL dominated possession after that. But Arno Kalimwendo kept them on their toes. Decent shot. Well saved. And they would eventually make the most of their possession. Ball into the box, headed home by Jake O'Brien. Just his fifth appearance since joining from Crystal Palace for one million euros, producing a priceless goal for OL as they look to spark a recovery. They will remain bottom, but perhaps can now find some self-belief. Turned out what they needed was the luck of the Irish. Two sides in desperate need of a league victory faced off as Clermont took on Lorient. Both played out goalless draws last time out, but Clermont very nearly opened the scoring within five minutes on this occasion. Coming close through Abid Keita's effort from the edge of the area. Superb. Yvonne and Vogo save onto the post. The opening period ended as it began with another wonderful and Vogo save. This time to deny Shamar Nicholson with a fingertip over the bar to ensure his side headed down the tunnel still on level terms. the break, Lorient struggled to gain a foothold in the game and looked unlikely to claim only their second win in nine games. Luckily for them, Clermont were also struggling. That was until a moment of madness from Benjamin Mendy gave them a golden opportunity in the shape of a penalty after a VAR check. Denied by Invogo in the first half, Nicholson wasn't to be denied again, slotting away his penalty composed fashion to finally break the deadlock and become the first Jamaican to score in the French top flight. Harsh on Mbogo, who arguably deserved the clean sheet. Instead, it would be the other goalkeeper who made a crucial save late on. Or a deal with a big save late on as Leloncia claimed three vital points. Only eight games with the postponement of Brest Strasbourg, but a low scoring weekend nonetheless. Just 12 goals in total, and a third of those came between Metz and Nantes. As mentioned, the champions finally claim the top spot. Nice and Monaco still complete the podium, whilst Lille jump above Reims. Marseille slip into the bottom half, whilst it's a win for each of the bottom two to close the gap, which is now just two from Clermont to Lorient and three to safety. Two of the top three get the weekend underway on match day 13 as PSG hosts Monaco. As at the other end of the table, Lyon will look to continue their recovery when they host LOSC on Sunday evening. <laughs>